Former Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud is falling badly in mock drafts, and it's reportedly because he did terribly on a test, Big Bet Bennett. It's called the S2 test. Are you familiar with the S2 test? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, so you, Didn't this used to be called something else? Wonderlick. That's what I thought. I was like, that doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. So they got the rid of the, they, this test. is This yeah. is the test that has replaced the Wonderlick, the Wonderlick test. Okay. That controversial Wonderlick test. That's a uh, stupid thing. Now we're using the S2 test. And what it does, it, um, it has nine different segments. Okay. And the measurements used at each section include... A quarterback's ability to track multiple objects, make complex decisions, and filter through if-then scenarios with different defensive scenarios with an ability to improvise. The test takes about 45 minutes, and C.J. Stroud got 18% correct. That's terrible. Okay. For context, let me tell you, Bryce Young? Yeah, how'd Bryce do? 98%. How'd Will Levis do? 93%. And what was CJ's again? 18. <laughs> Dang, dude. 18. I don't know much it's like about taking this. A te- think about this. Forget yeah. the S2 test. Think about it as an algebra test. Anything. Yeah. Like a traditional test. Somebody made a 98, and you made an 18. That's, that's not good. That's not a good sign. You need to get CJ on the, on the Wonder League test. <laughs> we'll see how he does that, then I'll decide. Does that mean something to you, Bryce Young? 98. Best, best in the class. Pretty good. I'm a believer in Bryce Young. I am too. I'm really surprised by all these rumors about Levis going number one to the Panthers. I, I just I I would not pass up Bryce Young. I, ain't gonna, I would not. I ain't gonna sit here and act like I'm Mel Kiper. I get it. All right. I'm not gonna have strong opinions on this. I just would not take Will Levis before I took uh, Bryce Young. No, because the thing is, is like, I wouldn't take anybody. Yeah, I wouldn't take any quarter. That's my QB one. Yeah, Bryce, you, that's the guy I would take if I needed a quarterback in this draft. If you take Bryce Young and it doesn't work out, no one's gonna look back and say, "Man, they should have done." No, he's no, like, they, no. They will look back and say, "Man, he was little when we tried to tell you." I guess that's that, true. That will um, happen. I guess that's true. I don't know. I, w- I was not a big Will Levis guy. I actually thought that there was a chance he might fall and the Titans would take him, but that doesn't seem to be the case. He's going to go early, it appears. Pete Thamel had a story at ESPN.com earlier today about Bryce Young, and he's got NFL people, like, you know, anonymous, the same type of people mm-hmm. we all talk to. And they, they say, like, this guy's Drew Brees. Don't get caught up on his height the way you people got caught up on Drew Brees' height. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yes, he's smaller than your typical quarterback. He is shorter than what you would like him to be. But he he's going to succeed in that league. Yeah, I mean, we've seen the short guys win Super Bowls. Drew Brees, Russell Wilson, like, it's you can do it. Short Kings can win Super Bowls. Short Kings can win Super Bowls. This is a new day and age. It's a new, it's a new yeah. world we're living yeah, in. It's the S2 cognitive world we're living in, yeah. not the Wonderlick world. I'm, I'm a believer in Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud. He's a study a little bit. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you. I mean, you got to at least get to like the. I think if those guys are getting ninety threes and ninety eights, I think you got at least to get in like the sixties, like like eighteen. I mean, that means like you don't even know what you're looking at. Yeah, (laughs) you don't even know what you're looking at. (laughs) That's concerning. That definitely is because like yeah, processing things is like arguably the most important part of that job. That's it. Processing things, Mm -hmm. and according to his C two. He can't pro- – or S2, rather. S2. He's not processing things so well. Doesn't sound like it. Woo. The Gary Paris Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app.